Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special little quick tips video to share with you. It was requested in a recent live to share how I chain piece my labels on the Brother Label Maker so that there isn't any waste. I thought this was such a great idea that I did a quick tips video and I am going to show you in real time how I chain piece my labels. I hope you enjoy the video. Hi everyone, today I am just going to do a little short tutorial showing how you can chain piece your labels with the Brother Label Maker. So in a recent live video, I was asked if I could show how to chain piece them so that you don't have this huge section in between each. So let's say you have just got a, an order of stamps and dies and you want to go ahead and label all of them. So I am going to open or turn on my label maker and I know that it really is a little hard to see. Maybe we can see it there. One moment. Okay, I think my overhead light off is gonna be better. So what we're gonna do, um, let me just go back here a little bit. So I always put the name of the company first. Let me see if I can. So Simon Says Stamp, and to do two lines of print that I'm just gonna hit enter, and you can see this says the second line of print. So what I'm gonna do, is I have some um, dies here that were from the last release that I have not labeled yet. And this is the Etched Evening Blossom. So I'm simply going to type that in. Like so. Normally this is laying flat, so it, <laughs> but I want you to be able to see it, I hope. Okay, then I'm gonna click print and let's just click print. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but it's left a huge, much bigger than normal. So let's just go ahead and do this. For the sake of video, let's go ahead and move on to Etched Magnolia Blossom. So I'm just gonna go back, like so. We're gonna click print. So look at all that wasted tape, you guys. This is what we're trying to avoid. So while this, I mean, you just have to cut off so much. I don't like all this waste. And I don't know about you guys, but anytime that I can eliminate some of the waste, I do. So see how close these are? Here is how you achieve that with your label maker. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to menu and margin pops up. So I'm gonna show you, oh, whoops. I really, sorry that it's so hard to read. So there's like margin, name label, file, tab. And this is not by any means, you guys, the newest label maker out there. Um, this is the P-Touch version that this works on. Okay, so there's lots of choices. Let's go back to margin. Margin is what we're looking for here. So we wanna click margin and click okay. Full is one choice, half, narrow, chain print. We are looking for chain print. We're going to click OK. So let's try printing this again. And I'll just turn it. OK, see how it doesn't come all the way out? If I were to cut this now, I'm going to cut it for the sake of video. It cuts off part of my label. We definitely don't want to do that. So this is where chain print comes in. I'm going to flip it back. Let's click escape. And let's just go ahead and print that again. And then let's just go back and do our etched evening blossom again. So all I did was hit escape. And I'm going to go back and just type in my next one, etched evening blossom like so and we're going to hit print and look at that then I simply take some scissors 
have a little pair of Tim Holtz scissors here. And normally I print a whole bunch, so I'm gonna have to tip this kind of at an angle here. And all you do is snip them apart. So yes, there's a little work involved where you can't use the cutter on your P-Touch label maker. However, look how close that is. So let's do like one or two more. And then of course I put these in uh, little storage pockets which I will have a photo of, or there's a photo of at the beginning of the video, and all of that, and I labeled them. So let's go ahead and do the delicate branch. We're just gonna go back. Delicate branch. And we'll print that one. And then let's go ahead and do fine textured leaf. And I generally will do a ton all at once to save that extra tape. And I'm so sorry about that glare. Fine textured leaf. And then we've got our large thank you swirl. I generally have children do this too. It's a good little tip. Okay, let's say that's the end of the stamps and dies that we want to label. Well, remember, if we cut right now, it's going to cut this off. So it says, okay to feed. Now it is okay to feed. So click okay. And it's going to feed it out far enough that when you do the automatic cutter, it's not going to cut your label. So then all I do, is I take my scissors and I trim them up like so. You can even trim off this little excess. I often do, you probably don't have to, but you can see so much less waste than this. So chain piece is the key and I will show you that one more time because look, that's like a whole nother label you guys. Um, so definitely want to chain piece. So again, you want to do menu. You're looking for margin. Mine is, we'll just click OK. There it says chain print, but here you can do full, half, narrow, chain print. So we definitely want to do chain print. And that is how um, I get mine close together. I hope this has helped you guys and it maybe answered some questions about getting doing the same thing when you're labeling your stamps and dies. And I hope you've been short, enjoyed this little short how-to tutorial. Thanks guys, bye. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new video. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any ideas for future quick tips videos, please leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching.